This is the new farm grain truck. It's an International S2600, 1981. Uh, I think it's going to work well for what we're doing here. As, um, this will just be used to take grain from the field and drive it back 10, well, between 5 and 15 miles over to the new grain bin that's being built on that pad over there. I just got it, I just drove it back from Indiana yesterday, about 500 miles. It did well. Um, really no problems, mechanical otherwise. Uh, some new tires. I gotta thank my cousin Daryl and his wife, Lorena, first of all for their hospitality. And, uh, I stayed there overnight and I bought it from Daryl and he has done quite a bit of work on it to maintain it over the years and this was his second grain truck. So there's quite a few upgrades or at least well maintained and the problem with older equipment is that generally the maintenance doesn't stay up so if you're buying something old it's a crapshoot but with Daryl I knew that it had been taken care of. go up and giving you the uh, bounce around tour here. I'll show you inside. There's a few minor things I think I need to touch up, but it's pretty much, as they say, field ready. So this was uh, my ride. One of the things I think I want to get fixed is I think the heater core is plugged up. You can't even get, um, never mind air conditioning, but any air that comes out is hot. And it gets pretty warm in here. So that's one little thing to fix. Other little things, you know, niggles here and there, but it's in good shape. Box lifts up just fine. Shifting was an adventure. Floating gears, I floated gears for the first time. So driving it here, the first hundred miles, I took the side roads and practiced my shifting. I didn't grind too many years, but uh, downshifting in particular was a bit of a challenge. And to get the, the speed just right on the RPMs when you pop, try to pop back into gear. But, um, yeah. So, it's an eight-speed transmission. I can't remember the make of that. I think he said it had a Cummins engine in it as well. I don't know, 350 horsepower or so. But yeah, it was noisy in here. A lot of bouncing around. And I'm glad to be back. And today I think I will start, uh, I'll clean it out a little bit and maybe look at uh, starting on a few of those repairs. That's about all for now.